Hey guys, let's talk about the project panel in Adobe After Effects. That's this panel over here, this section. If you're making anything in After Effects, you're basically using the project panel. It's, wo it's where all your assets are imported into first. It's where you organize your files, it's where new solids and pre-comps, which are explained in another tutorial, are created. I'm using my own assets here, but you can use this uh, tutorial with any project that you've got at home. We do have a tutorial on how to import files, how to bring files into After Effects if you'd like to watch that first. So the project panel deals a lot with assets and compositions. If you're not familiar with a composition, that's basically like your canvas. It's what, what like all the paint and pieces go on. It's what's displayed as the final product after you hit render, which turns it into a video file you could send to places. So when you import a Photoshop or uh, Illustrator file over here, It'll bring in like the final file, like the complete file like this in one of these little icons. It'll say composition next to it. And it'll also import the layers. Again, this has to do with how you import things. Check out that tutorial. But it'll bring in the layers that go with that uh, particular asset. You can see all the individual pieces of my little uh, work over here. Now to make a composition, here's a couple of different ways to do it. Either go up to Composition, New Composition. This is how you can customize the size of your composition. You can name it anything you want. You can choose a different preset size. These are all meant for like different aspect ratios depending on like, is it gonna be in a laptop, a phone, you know, a TV. So whatever project you're making, you wanna understand what the best size aspect ratio uh, is for that project. I'm gonna just pick a, you know, a random one here. Uh, if you hit lock aspect ratio, when you move width, height goes along with it. If you don't click it, then you could just change one of these values on its own. And it has things like frame rate, you know, how many frames per second will be displayed. Start time code, you want to start at 000, all the zeros. It'll last for like about 30 seconds over here. You know, background, now the background color of a composition doesn't matter too much because what really, what what's gonna be output and rendered for everyone to see when the file's done is really all the assets and like the paint that you put on top of it. The background for all intents and purposes is typically invisible unless you put something on top of it. So you hit okay and a new composition is born. I'm actually gonna delete this one, but before I do, check it out over here in the project panel, a new comp exists. And if I want, I can grab this comp, I could drag it down to this thing, and it says it's a duplicate composition uh, icon. It's also create new composition. You can uh, hit create that icon and it'll get you those uh, settings from before. But yeah, it basically duplicates that composition. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna delete these because there's another technique I wanna show you. By the way, if you hear weird sounds, that is my cat and he's trying to come visit me. So you saw before that if I dragged one of these assets down to this icon over here, it'll duplicate it and one, then we'll like go inside of it, right? Now, what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna grab this asset over here. And again, it already says composition next to it. This is like my Photoshop file all put together. So I'm not gonna double click on it. And now I'm inside of it. This is now my composition and it comes with all my individual uh, assets over here, all my individual layers. That was my cat. And speaking of, there's a way to pull out the layers from all the, um, what's the word? Oh yeah, the, all the files that you've imported into After Effects. So your Illustrator file, your Photoshop file, it'll come in with these layers, you know, depending on which option you picked. And I'm gonna grab one of these and, you know, I'm gonna be like, I don't want all of these layers for whatever reason. I'm just gonna grab one of these. I'm actually gonna drag it right onto my composition window. And there we go. Now you can see, that I've got a new layer here, that's the cat layer, that I just pulled out from this folder. And again, just to recap, I toggle, I find the um, file that has the asset that I want, I toggle it open, I go through these uh, little frames, it'll give me preview up here, I grab whichever one I want, and I drag it onto my composition window. And now it's a part of my new composition. If I want to find a specific uh, frame or you know a specific asset, this is the search bar. And if you're working with a lot of files, this will really come in handy. And you could type in uh, laptop and it'll show me all the layers that have the word laptop in them. And now for organizational purposes, uh, it's a good idea to try and color code the types of files that you've got in here. Like all your folders can be one kind of color, all your compositions can be another kind of color, unless maybe you want, you know, you have a bunch of background assets and you're like, okay, all the background assets should be fuchsia. And you do that as you've seen, as you've seen me do here, you click this little colored box over here and then you just pick a color from the list. 
And also there's folders. So these come in with their own folders. Like, you know, you can see the file has, here's a put together file, and then it comes in with all the layers in a folder, but you can uh, organize it further by hitting this little icon over there, create new folder, and I'm naming it cat <laughs> for some reason. And then I'm selecting all my cat layers. I'm dragging it in. And now if I want to find anything, I would just toggle open that big folder and toggle it open again. And I'd find all my other uh, assets right over here. So yeah, definitely remember to keep your projects organized in the project panel. After Effects projects can uh, become quite full with a lot of assets and layers. So keeping all of that straight is important. Use a project panel if you need to duplicate or make new compositions or to just check out what assets are in any project. 